Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to the India National Math Olympiad 2015 problem 3. At first, let's have a look on the problem statement. We are asked to find all functions from the real numbers to the real numbers such that the assertion p of x, y, which is equal to f of x squared plus y times f of x is equal to x times f of x plus y holds. One thing which is always a good idea when dealing with functional equations is to plug in the value 0. So let's plug in the value 0 for both x and y and we get that f of 0 plus 0, which is only f of 0, should be equal to 0 times something, which is 0. Therefore, we know the value of the function at some point, namely 0, and so it's a good idea to make one of these arguments here equal to 0. Therefore, our idea is to plug in y equals minus x, because then we have here an x minus x, which is equal to 0. So, we get that p of x comma minus x yields that we have f of x squared minus x times f of x is equal to x times f of 0 and this is because f of 0 is equal to 0 also equal to 0. This is interesting because now we found a second argument where we also have the value of 0 from the function. This gives us two cases and the first case is that this argument here is always 0. In this case we have that x squared minus x times f of x is equal to 0 for all x from the real numbers. Here we can factor the left hand side and this is equal to x times x minus f of x and now this is equal to 0 and since we have a product of two terms which is equal to 0, we know that one of these terms is equal to 0 and therefore for every x which is not equal to 0 we get that x minus f of x is equal to 0 and this yields that f of x is equal to x. Here we assumed that x is not equal to 0 and therefore this only holds for all x not equal to 0 but we also figured out that f of 0 is equal to 0 and therefore f of x must be equal to x for every x from the real numbers. We can now plug this in into p of x, y and see that the left hand side is equal to x squared plus y times x and the right hand side is also equal to x squared plus x times y which is equal to the left hand side and therefore this is indeed one solution. So now let's deal with our second case and in the second case we know that this argument here is not always equal to zero. Therefore we can find some a from the real numbers such that f of a is equal to zero but a is not equal to zero. Now we want to make use of the fact that f of a equals zero and therefore we plug in x equals a into our equation here. So p of a comma y gives us that f of a squared is equal to a times f of a plus y. Now we can see that we plug in y equals to minus a in the equation and therefore get that f of a squared is equal to a times f of 0 which is equal to 0. But now we see that these two terms here are obviously equal and therefore we have that a times f of a plus y is equal to 0. But now since we assumed that a is not equal to 0 we get that f of a plus y must be equal. To zero. Now we can plug in y equals to x minus a, so y equals x minus a, and this gives us that f of x is equal to zero for all x in R. Therefore this is the only possible solution in this case, and now if we plug in this back into the equation here, we see that we have an f on the left hand side, so the left hand side is equal to zero, and we have x times f of x plus y on the right hand side, so 
the right hand side is also equal to zero, therefore this is also indeed a solution. And therefore we found exactly two solutions, namely f of x equals x and f of x equals zero, and we are done.